Hello everyone! And as you know, the fourth part of episode 77 is about to get released very soon, and probably even on that weekend. We've just got to wait a little bit more. And well, while you are doing so, I decided to make another video to keep you guys entertained. So today I'm going to review the best fan maids out there and also tell you well something that happens in it. Actually happen in Boom's episode, or maybe we should expect something totally different. Because in some cases, fan-made animations came really close to what would actually happen in Boom's series and plot. So today I'm going to predict whether the fan-made creators found the truth or not. Now get your tea and snacks ready and be sure to watch this video to the end, because I saved the best and most unpredictable part for later. Let's go! And be sure to also give this video a like and subscribe to my channel if you haven't done that already because I am making a lot of interesting Skibidi Toilet content to keep you guys in tune in the moments when we are waiting for the next part of the episode to get released. Okay, so if you are subscribed now, let's continue. And first of all, I'd like to mention the fan made from our well-known creator Spider Rund, who, as you remember, decided to cancel his Skibidi Invasion series due to some major technical issues. But thankfully, he still keeps on making his Skibidi Toilet fan-made videos, and I couldn't be more happy about it. Because this dude is way too talented in his animations to just stop his activities altogether. Okay, and the format of his video is a classical what-if, or to be more precise, what if Titan TV Man didn't get injured in Episode 77 Part 3? And well, in this video, Spider Rune basically showcased this Titan TV Man that I was hoping to see in the actual series for a really long time. Meaning his true unbothered Chad form, of course, with no hysteria floating around him or some unnecessary emotions leading to major fails in the battles with powerful opponents. So in his fan-made Spitterund shows the way Titan TV Man could have really fought all the Astro Toilets from the actual episode, and well, even with no visual upgrades, he could have really rocked that fight. If only he would stay absolutely cold-blooded and his reactions were sharp as ever. Although I still found this moment to be a little bit goofy, where Titan TV Man simply dismembers this Astro Destructor with his eventual attacks. Because given the fact that Titan TV Man is still not upgraded aside from him holding a shield now, it would be really weird if suddenly the physical power of his blade and brass knuckles became totally unbeatable. Plus, we should consider that Astro Toilet's defense system is really not that slim either, based on what we saw in the previous episodes. These Astro Toilets still can be eventually defeated and even destroyed, that's true, but only within a certain period of time consisting of never-ending attacks. And well, in this section of spider Run's fan-made video, Titan TV Man seemed to demolish this Astro Destructor way too fast, in my opinion, and it looked as if defeating an elite Astro Toilet was easier than to eat a piece of cake. But in any case, this scene still looked extra badass, and Speeder Run shows to us once again how creative and really skilled animator he is. So I really hope that we'll see more projects from him in the future. Okay, but there was also another change in Spider Run's fan made that really grabbed my attention, and well, it's basically his variant of an ending for the third part of the episode where he changed everything. So given the fact that Titan TV Man wasn't injured in this video and he also wrecked up all the poor Astro Toilets earlier, he gets a really insane aura about him. So when Astro Juggernaut shows up, the vibe is completely different as Titan TV Man is still standing his ground and ready to fight even more Astros. So here's what happens next. So Astro Juggernaut turns to TV Titan and says, you are not escaping this time. And during that words, more elite Astro warriors appear behind his back, which looks really intimidating. And not to just Titan TV Man, but to survived cameramen too, who still haven't teleported to their base as it was instructed to them. But then, something really crazy happens, and man, this is one of the coldest moments in Skibidi Toilet animation I've ever seen. Titan TV Man doesn't even flinch as he says, My sons, even in our darkest hour, yet we stand. And in that moment, a whole crowd of other heavily upgraded TV men appears on his side while Titan TV Man continues, Let fury guide your weapons, and our enemies shall fall. And then a giant purple cannon appears next to him, which looks similar to the floating cannon that Plunger Camera Woman used in the original third part of the episode, and releases a powerful missile towards Astro Juggernaut. And I'm not gonna lie to you guys if something like this will happen in the fourth part of the episode, but only with Speakerman's Armada replacing Titan TV Man's reinforcements, it would be so epic I couldn't even breathe. But it would also be cool if we would see more new technologies and types of TV Men's machines. Although this is pretty unlikely because Boom teased the Speakerman's reinforcements in his YouTube shorts instead. 
And now I'd like to move to another fan made that I found and oh my god, let me tell you beforehand that it was absolutely insane. So do you guys remember watching my video about dying Skibidi multiverses, right? Because in that video I told you about the situation regarding several medium popular Skibidi toilet creators that had to pause the production of the actual multiverses due to Boom's requests and focus on the fan maids instead. And well, the creator named Juke Ults was one of them. He had to interrupt his Skibidi attack series, but instead he made a fan made on how the fourth part of episode 77 would look like, and it lasted for five freaking minutes. So of course I checked this fan made, and man, I found plenty of things to talk about, and well, this fan made goes along with the plot of the actual series, so Titan TV man is heavily damaged here as he starts the fight with Astro Juggernaut. And well, in that video, Juggernaut lives up to his name as he's basically unstoppable here, and he showcases some incredible resilience and power, as well as lots of cool abilities that he uses in this fight. His Half-Life huge cannon, laser eyes, and punches that are hitting heavy as hell make him to be a really formidable opponent, especially combined with the other Astro Toilets waiting for their turn nearby. Throughout the battle, the Titan TV man still proves his own durability surviving despite being hurt before and then damaged even more by the Juggernaut's fierce attacks. Even after his head gets almost completely destroyed in the process of this fight, Titan TV Man still remains functional, which shows an insane level of endurance which even causes frustration for the Astro Juggernaut, who struggles to fully eliminate him. And I don't even want to comment on the words that Juggernaut says to TV Titan in their battle because, well, you can read the subs yourself, guys. Okay, but while Astro Juggernaut was trying to understand how the hell TV Titan was still staffing, something even more incredible happened next. And it's the arrival of the long-awaited Speakerman's Armada that made a turning point in that battle. And it consists of the upgraded Speaker Striders and Speaker Helicopters, not to mention the upgraded Speakermen themselves. The Armada's reinforced armor can also withstand even the Astro Juggernaut's powerful blasts, which is showing the significant improvements that Speakermen have finally undergone. And this scene where the upgraded Big Speakerman stepped in to rescue Titan TV Man and helped to combat the Juggernaut's relentless onslaught was really damn epic. But somehow, even with the orbital strikes launched against him, the Juggernaut withstands the attacks and then yells annoyingly, ENOUGH GAMES! And he's right. Because after that, this fan made becomes even crazier. Titan TV Man gets up and steps back into the fight while saying, You can never finish off a gone man which is a reference to the actual phrase from Boom's series, which means that the Alliance's agents are probably long gone. Humans who are operating machines and robots now, but it's the topic for a completely different video. So Astro Juggernaut gathers all of his powers to try and finish Titan TV Man for good now, and in that moment, no other than G-Man Titan steps into this fight. And man, dare I say that his design is just insane. He looks like a giant robot from Pacific Rim movies now, with the huge gravity gun and powerful yellow core in his possession. But despite G-Titan's powerful blasts and clever tactics in this battle, Astro Juggernaut still manages to escape while being infused with G-Man's yellow energy. And probably that's how it was initially planned by him and Titan TV Man. So now Astro Juggernaut may return to Astro Toilet's base while being infected by Jimmy's powers, which can cause a huge havoc in there. And this fan-made ends with G-Man helping TV Titan to get back on his feet, meaning that he's a part of the Alliance battle force now. And while this fan-made was just insane both in terms of its plot and also in emanation quality, and if the actual episode will look similar to it, then I'll probably eat my own keyboard. And what did you guys think about it? Be sure to write your opinion and theories in the comments below. And that was all for today. Be sure to give this video a like and subscribe to my channel. And that was me, Isotoilet. See ya!